What is up guys, today we will be playing Territorial IO and I am playing as Spain as single player. Now for the settings of this game, I am going to make it hard and I am going to reduce the number of players. Um, I think 65 is good enough and I am going to be playing in Europe. So let's start. Alright, I can't really remember what color I am playing is. And obviously because I am Spain, I have to start in Spain. It's always best to start in a very empty spot so that you can, um, you know, build from there. And also a very good tip is not send out so much soldiers or whatever you want to call them. Just send out a few at a time and slowly conquer the land. So that will help you get a lot of these score things. As you can see, if you put a lot, if like, let's say all these other players around me, because they are sending a lot, when they get big, their size will get big, but their score will not be big, which means they do not have enough people to fight, therefore they would lose the battle. Anyway, so I'm just going to zoom out. As you can see, I'm getting all this nice land over here. I probably will try to conquer the whole of Spain first before I do anything else. So, I am going to try to defeat the Carthaginian Empire for now. I think I'll just try to conquer the whole of Spain first before I do anything else. Alright, so the best thing to do is see your neighbor, see who is strong. And apparently this Dutch Empire seems pretty strong. And... Alright, he's on around 100,000 and I'm on 200,000. So I think I have a pretty good chance to win this game. So right now the whole of Spain is mine, so now I'm going to try to get, the best thing now for me is try to get the whole of Europe, but it's not going to be easy because of all this huge lands. So right now Chalukya Dynasty is the biggest of all. 300,000, I mean I'm still better than them at 400,000 but I really have to be careful because if you send out a bit too much then that could be the end alright so I have a problem over here with the Dutch Empire because they are actually really strong and who is this in yellow Funan Funan up here is trying to kick me out of Europe which I am obviously not going to let them do I mean they are so small, I'm not sure why they are even trying. Alright, so Spain and France is all mine and now I'm going to get Italy and Germany. I think I am actually the strongest player here. Um, yes, I am actually the strongest player here. I am going to send a boat, I'm going to send some boats out to all these little islands as well it's very good sometimes if you are a weak if you are very weak try to get all the islands to build up as fast as possible so all these are tips to win this game i've won the game many times on all levels so i know what i'm doing okay first thing i'm going to do right now is just get rid of ayubid dynasty I think they are a real threat because of their size, so I need to make sure I got them under control. Okay, I am at 1 million, I don't think... Okay, Banton Sultanate was at 1 million, but he just full sent too much. I'm also going to try to get rid of Funan because... It seems to be really annoying me right now. Okay, I'm getting pushed away by Banten Sultanate. 
but I think I'm just strong enough to defeat him. So if you look very closely, I am actually sending a boat out to Iceland, try to get rid of Funan for a bit. But before that, I'm going to try to get rid of Banten Sultanate. And as you can see, just like that, Banten Sultanate is gone. Alright, I'm almost going to win this game right now. Okay, who's this? Never mind, guys. We have victory right now. We just won this game. So, um, yeah, those are some of the best ways to win a game like this. As you can see, I played on hard difficulty in Europe as Spain. If you want to make it more fun, you can always like just choose a random country and just place your your starting point on that random country. But if you really want to win the game, then you obviously have to choose a good spot. These little islands are not good at all. Italy as well is not very good. I think the best place is either down here, around here in Africa, or Central Europe. So um, that is this game for me. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Alright guys, so this time we are playing as Texas. In Texas, I put it for in hard difficulty. Oh my god. I just forgot to change the map. So I am going to quit the game and as you can see I am playing as Texas and I'm going to hard difficulty 97 players and I am going to play in USA as Texas of course. So it's time to start and Texas should be around here. So I'm going to get a nice open land like that and there we go. Now like I said before I'm not going to full send too much or I just might lose the game. Now, what I'm doing right now, I don't think is a very good idea, so I am going to slow down a bit. So, so far, I have the crown, which means I am the, the nation of the bigger size right now, so... Yes, so our Soviet Union is right there. I tried to get him, but I just got cut off. Now I'm fine. Now the best thing to do is find the weakest player and beat them. So the Umayyad Empire just what um lost, and now I have to destroy the Wadai Empire, which I am doing right now. Now, as you can see, I do not have the crown any longer, and it's because of all this huge nations here. As you can see there are 97 players, probably a little less now because of all the defeats some had had. So yeah, this is very these are very good tactics what you do. You always find yourself in the middle. Don't try to put yourself at the side because they're just gonna lose the game like that. It's very easy in this game to get cornered off so you seriously won't want that to happen. So I'm just trying my best to make my empire as big as possible. Kingdom of Poland is pretty big right now. The next person I'm going to go for is this blue color person. Who's that? The... I can't pronounce that. Alright, Texas is right now not in Texas. I think, yeah, a kind of half of me... A quarter of me is in Texas, the rest is in Mexico. I'm not sure why Mexico is in this game, but I don't really care. So the Tahirid dynasty is also going to go down. I'm trying to make sure that I get as much land as possible to keep up 
with all of these. So as you can see, because Kingdom of Poland is full sending, they are losing um, soldiers very quickly. Alright, at this point I'm just going to win this game because I just have much more soldiers than anyone else. Alright guys, well, um, in a matter of time right now, I would just win this game. And that is finally victory number two for me. Um, if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you ever ha happen to play this game, just follow those um, advice I gave you about where to start and how to start it. Also, if you actually look closely, the kingdom of Jerusalem, this the blue color guy just now is actually still alive. But I don't think he can fight that therefore they gave me the victory. So anyways, if you guys like the video, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next